Today, Traxxas is stepping up their game by going old school. Well, here it is, the Traxxas TRX-4M High Trail. Traxxas put a long arm lift kit on a TRX-4M, some bigger tires, and it's a Chevy. I think this thing looks beautiful. Its stance is amazing, but we gotta look into it a little bit harder. So come up close. So this thing comes installed with headlights, but don't be fooled, it's not a Pro Scale light kit. In the Pro Scale light kit, you get a lot of different headlight modes, like daytime running lights, not running lights off, and hazard lights. And reverse lights. As of the launch of this truck, it does not come with tail lights, but there are buckets in there, so it will receive them. It comes with larger tires, but how much larger of a tire, you may ask? All right, so we have our measuring calipers right here, and we're going to measure how large this tire is. We're sitting at about 54 and a half millimeters, right yep. there. This one, as you can see, a little bit larger, 61.7 millimeters, just about 61.7 millimeters. Grab that Bronco, let's measure that tire quick. Cause that's a Mickey Thompson we just recently put on. 54 point, 54 and a half. 54 and a half, 61 and a half. Mm -hmm. What about the rims? Now let's see, are the rims the same? Since these tires are foamless, you can just- Can just quick peel them off. Take that off, 28.3 millimeters. Rip the tire off the Defender quick. We're looking at the exact same 28.3 millimeters. So could you throw this on the Defender? Let's see. And there you go, you have wow. the larger tire from this on there. <laughs> well, there you go. If you want bigger tires on your Mini, you can just buy the Traxxas ones. Mm -hmm. So there's no difference in the rim, it's just the rubber. So while the Chevy is up on blocks, the Defender got a new set of sneakers. Look at that. I think that actually looks it sick. It looks great. So if you want bigger tires on your regular TRX-4M, boom, you can go ahead and do it. We'll have to leave the part number in the description for those tires. The steering does not rub either. Not sure if articulation is limited now with these tires. We'll have to test it out, but I'm definitely gonna get a set of these for this because I think that looks really it cool. It looks great. Now Traxxas claims that the high trail has a 35% increase in ground clearance. Now I'm thinking, oh, that's all just due to the bigger tires, right? Well, it does also claim that it has a long arm lift kit, so we're gonna check that out. As you can see, we are zeroed out right mm -hmm. here, and we're going to check these arms right here. So I'm gonna go from where yeah. the screw goes in to where the screw goes in. So you're checking the front ones first. 52.7 millimeters. Now, if we check this one, we do have a completely different part right here. Oh, it's this got is, kind of a... This yeah. has a curve right here. Where this one doesn't. 55, hmm. 55.5. We have about a three millimeter difference on the front arms. Now let's check the back. This is the TRX-4M Defender. From pillow ball to pillow ball, we are sitting at 67.9, so about 68. Okay. We're sitting at 74 and a half. So it's about a seven millimeter difference on the back. So. This is a true long arm lift kit. I'm not sure if they're gonna release this as a kit, because I know they do for the regular TRX-4s. Not sure if they're going to release this as a kit. There would be parts available, because mm -hmm. you have to replace parts now yeah. and then, so. What about the chassis? So if you look at this, it doesn't look that much longer. People are saying, oh, it's a completely longer car. It's different, you know? Everyone always compares it to the Bronco, which, Look at this, the Bronco from the front bumper to the front bumper, see? It's quite a bit different. A lot shorter. We're missing a lot of length right there. But if we take the Defender, put it there, it's not that much of a difference. Obviously, yes, this is a little bit longer, but it's a lot less not of a difference. Not much. So you might be like, oh, is it actually an extended chassis? If we measure from bumper to bumper, we're getting about 10 and a half. Now here, if we measure from bumper to bumper, we're getting about 10 and 5 eighths right there. Only an eighth difference, only an eighth of an inch difference right there. So you might be thinking, oh, it's not that much longer, what the heck? See, this is just the bumper right here. The chassis is where this metal starts right here, as yep. you can see. 
middle starts like right there. Okay. So let's measure that. We're getting about seven and seven eighths. And then if we measure the high trail, we're getting a whopping eight and three quarters. There is a lot larger of a difference in, in the th actual chassis. From bumper to bumper, it might look the same, but with the actual chassis is a lot longer. In the packaging, it comes with a drop hitch since the high trail is higher. There it is. Well, that's thick plastic. You wouldn't necessarily put this on unless you were having a trailer to pull because this would give you clearance issues if you're really crawling. But that's pretty nice that they offer the dropped hitch. There's two screw holes right there where you can just screw it right just in. Just screw it. So there you go. If you like having trailers and cruising around with your little trailer, that'll work. Speaking of actual crawling, we should probably get this thing outside and test it. Let's get out there. Just keep going. All right, so we're gonna test to see, is the high trail actually worth it? The extra $20, I think it's $174 rather yeah. than $150. We're going to test out how the TRX4M goes up against the high trail on this stump right here. Let's test it out. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit hung up on my disc right here. It's not really letting me go. So that's where a lift kit would come in handy. Oh! Just drove right up. Right up. Makes me want to try it again, let's see. Yeah, I don't think I'm making it up that. That's. That guy just drove like, but like it wasn't even there. Yeah. And you can hang a wheel off pretty good too. So without the lift kit, we have some pretty long grass right here and the TRX4M can do it, but I'm using a lot of throttle just to get through it. It's a little bit difficult for it. Like right here, a little bit difficult. See, I'm full throttle right now and it's kind of giving up. He just eats it. I'm not even half throttle. Yeah, I had to use a lot of throttle to get through it. Just eating it. See, I'm spinning my tires and everything. This one, just straight through. Jeez, these things are awesome looking outside, but wouldn't it be nice if we had like an actual TRX4M crawler track? Yeah. Okay, so here we are at the track. We've got a lot of different obstacles, as you can see concrete chunks like this um articulation check right here all right so first it's gonna climb up this oh with absolute ease oh my gosh all right it's gaining traction up onto the dirt right here you make it up this little rocky bit rocky bit getting some grass all cut up in there, but he makes it. Success. Down over the springs. Oh my gosh, it just drove right over. And into the sand pit. This part is especially hard for the TRX 4 m And then it usually gets stuck right there. Mm -hmm. Let's unless see Unless you're giving her the gas. Let's see it. I'm just gonna try driving slow. Oh, just straight and over. I didn't even try. Over the sticks. This part is also, really hard for the TRX4M. You need to be really cautious. Let's see how he does. Oh, he's articulating quite a bit. Can he make it? 
Oh, he did it. What? Oh, and he failed right there. It doesn't seem like it has any problems with articulation. Oh, straight over onto the teeter-totter. Goes right off. Straight up. We have some noodles to get past. Let's see if it can do it. Oh. Uh-oh. Getting a little bit caught up. I'm sideways. Oh, line yourself back up. The other minis have never gotten that far. Mm-hmm. That is truth. The other minis just cannot get past this because it's such a big gap and they don't have enough ground clearance. I just caught you and I didn't even mean to. <laughs> For context, this is the hardest part of the entire the entire thing. Yeah. We've had people over here, it's taken them 30 minutes to get mm -hmm. through it. It's the hardest part. Let's see how the high trail does. Oh my gosh. It just drove right through it. Straight through. That is impressive. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is just over the top. The foam will get all caught up in the tires right here and then it's not able to move and just everything and just every factor, every bad thing that could ever happen to you does happen right here. It's Murphy's Law. You can never get through that with ease. This thing, oh my gosh, it just went just, straight over it. Let's see right here. You want A little bit of an angle onto the rocks. Oh, it just does that with The ease. minis get caught up on the beginning of that concrete usually, yeah. like right at this beginning part. Mm -hmm. Onto the articulation. All right, onto the old RC car bodies. I'm just gonna call it the original because I don't know what else to call it. The originals do have a little bit of a tough time right here. Uh, I'm about falling off. You are. Here. All right, this is another difficult spot, but apparently it's not. What? <laughs> I could just drive right over. This is a difficult spot because you get hung up on like literally every single one of these. No. Yep. Once you get unhung up, you're hung up on another one. Down here. Down here. Across these pool noodles. This little bridge right here. Oh, didn't even have to give it juice. Not there either. Oh. A little bit caught up. Right there. And a few more springs. Spring is in the air. And this is the end of the track. This is where you just gotta dive. Fit as land. good as this thing's been doing, I should just drive right off. Yep. See? Oh, on his wheels. On his wheels. Something to behold here. Jokes aside, I think it did amazing. I can't get it, my... Having driven with the other ones on the same track, it's mm -hmm. way different. I think that was probably a new record for speed. Mm -hmm. This thing just went over it so easily. And it did it in style. Except for that gnarly light bleed through. Yeah, we should talk about that. Mm -hmm. First, let's turn off the lights. So look at how the light just bleeds through. So the realism is really great on this truck, but look at how that light bleeds through. It's really annoying. Mm -hmm. If it you're driving at night at all, it just looks silly. Lights on again, please. There we go. So the truck is really awesome. It looks very real, very scale but it needs a backer. So just get yourself some black or white, whichever color you prefer. The white will make the red pop more probably. The black would mute it. So we're gonna go with white. Back it and get rid of that gnarly light bleed through. Stay tuned because we will do a full tutorial on how to do this in an upcoming video. There you have it, the brand new High Trail TRX4M. We went outside with it a little bit. We mm -hmm. proved its capabilities. Yeah, we proved that the long arm lift kit that is installed on it, along with the larger tires, do actually come in handy sometimes. I think it could almost hang with the 10 scale boys. Comment down below how long you think it's going to take Traxxas to come out with a Ford body, like an old 79 Ford. Mm. I'm waiting to see that. You know what I would like to see? What? The Mercedes 6x6. That would be something cool. A Mercedes 6x6, but 18 scale. Ooh, come on, Traxxas. That would be awesome. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. 
and ring the bell so you do not miss another video from us. Share it with any friends that you might think like this video, and I guess we'll see you in the next one. Yep. 3x7 Outdoors signing out. Bye for now.